crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for crackberry.com with the BlackBerry Bold 9900. Super excited to show it to you because I'm in love with this device. It is the iconic BlackBerry done right. It is fast, it is well built, it has awesome materials used in it. It just, it's luxury, right? This is the nicest BlackBerry ever with the best keyboard ever put on a BlackBerry or ever put on a smartphone for that matter. It's just awesome. It's got one other feature that I'm loving, a touch screen. And we've never had this style of BlackBerry before with a touch screen. So I can now swipe through all my stuff. I can go into the web browser. I can scroll up. I can scroll down. I can pinch to zoom and all that stuff. And it's very responsive. Uh, I got to say the web browser on the BlackBerry 7 OS here too is a lot quicker than on BlackBerry 6 and way quicker than on any other older web browsers. Really good job by RIM on it. Uh, before we get going though on the, you know, BlackBerry 7, I want to take back, take a look at the hardware closer and especially what we're moving into it from. So on the right here is the 9900. This is the BlackBerry I was using beforehand, the 9780, and you can see the difference in size here. The 9900 is quite a bit wider, quite a bit taller, and a lot more reminiscent of the original Bold 9000 on the far left. So RIM started with this, a very kind of blingy, big, you know, very much a BlackBerry making a statement, and I love the keyboard on this, but the overall device was pretty big. They went to a much smaller bold, which is a good phone, but the keyboard's not the same, and it's kind of understated, right? Like, this, this made a statement, this was very conservative, and RIM's found sort of a happy ground of all of this with the new 9900. It's uh, much closer, you know, looking from straight on to the bold 9000, but then you look at how much thinner it is, and the 9900 is the thinnest BlackBerry to date. It's uh, 10.5 millimeters, and you know, here we have plastic that looks like metal, here we have actual metal, and the difference in feeling, you just notice it. With the, with the metal band around the phone, it's just a very solid BlackBerry. It makes it feel much more like an object than, than sort of, you know, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, more gadgety, plasticky feeling, right? Like, this thing is, is awesome. Uh, love the keyboard on it. And one other thing to note is just how the colors have changed here over the years. So we had a lot more color on the keyboard originally, you know, red letters on the red, red numbers on the key, keypad. You got your colors there, your colors there. And on the new 9900, everything's gone white, which kind of simplifies the look, makes it cleaner. But I love what RIM did with the trackpad, which is they made it glow. So we now have a glowing trackpad. Going up to the touch screen here, uh, 640 by 480 resolution, which is a lot more than 480 by 360 on the uh, bold previously. Uh, VGA color, 24 bit, and the chipset in this phone is hardware accelerated. There's a, or there's a dedicated GPU, so the graphics are now hardware accelerated, what is what uh, RIM calls liquid graphics. Makes for a really nice experience. Love the display, looks great with everything. You have your blinking, you know, crack light. You have the nice band around the phone. Nice, nice brush, stainless steel. You know, looking at the buttons, you have your uh, on-off key for the display there. Down the left side, you got your audio, uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, headset port. You got your micro USB port. Uh, the mute key is moved from there to be in the middle of the volume up and down buttons. You have your uh, right side convenience key for opening the camera app. You can program that to whatever you want. And at the bottom, you've got these two charging contacts for your BlackBerry charging pod, which you can buy from shopcrackberry.com. Uh, I want one, I got it on order, it's coming shortly, uh, which is awesome. Interesting to note is this little strip at the bottom here between the two contacts is actually plastic and I think the reason for that is because the antenna is at the bottom of the phone and with all this metal now on a Blackberry they want to make sure uh, you know there's no antenna gate type issues so this way there's still plastic and there's good, good uh, connectivity between the, the radios and the networks. Um, pretty interesting though, and it really looks like metal still. It, it, it took me a while to figure out that that wasn't metal. Flipping the phone over, we've got this nice soft touch rubber all the way around the perimeter, which gives you pretty good grip. Uh, and then you have a battery door here that looks like carbon fiber, but is actually made out of, uh, I think it's a like glass composite with a carbon weave, or a, is what I was told, because carbon fiber would mess with the signal. So this looks great, a little easy to smudge, but easy to clean also. Um, over here you've got your 5 megapixel camera with HD video recording, 720p. You got your camera flash. Uh, I should note that on the Bold 9900, because they're going for thinness here, they had to sacrifice autofocus on this camera. So it's a continuous focus camera. 
Uh, other BlackBerry 7 smartphones still have the, uh, the, the autofocus there. It just got sacrificed on this one as a design, design decision to go thinner. So some of you are kind of sad about it. I've been finding I'm still taking decent photos. Under the battery door, we need to look at the battery door because there's this really cool antenna going on. So this is for NFC and RIMS actually built an NFC antenna into the battery door. You've got these two contacts there which then go back to these two contacts and that gives you NFC functionality. The battery's 1230 milliamps, which is a little bit smaller than on your um, uh, existing, your, the, the previous BlackBerry Bold, which was 1500 milliamps. I'm not a huge fan of going smaller on batteries, but the battery life has been okay so far. I think heavy users might want to carry a spare with them, but you know, average users should be okay. Uh, you have your memory card port there for external expansion, it takes up to a 32 gig uh, micro SD card. You need to remove the battery in order to stick that card in and out. So don't forget, and under the battery is the SIM card. Uh, overall on device memory is not too bad. It's 768 megs of RAM, which is up from 512. But one thing we've noticed is that that additional memory doesn't get handed, passed on to us for use on applications. It's actually being taken up by the BlackBerry 7 functionality. So, you know, I started with about 200 megs of application storage. Also included on the device is uh, 8 gigs of memory storage or media storage for, uh, you know, photos and videos and that kind of thing. But then even then, it starts at 6.2 instead of the, the 8 it's rated at. So I'm not quite sure. It must be resources from, from some of the BlackBerry 7 uh, features taking that up. Uh, talking about BlackBerry 7, I think we should take a look at it. So there's some new features here. Some of them are tied to the hardware, like the, uh, the accelerated graphics, the liquid graphics. We can see that we have all new icons through the OS, uh, which look good compared to, you know, even better than BlackBerry 6 ones, let's say. One of my favorite features here is the ability to now manage my panels. So I've never been a huge fan of all this scrolling from left and right because I find you can do it too accidentally. So now I can't scroll. That's it. I've got, uh, it's like OS 5 here. I just have my one tray of icons if that's all I want. And if I want to turn it back on, I can uh, do that. And I'm working under a camera here, so my tapping accuracy is kind of crappy. But I'm back to scrolling. You know, other things that have been built in, they added... Uh, actually voice enabled uh, universal search but with a keyboard like this honestly it's not worth using voice search just type it out it's going to be better and more accurate um, other things too so with the new hardware the new chipsets one point the new chipset powering this all is a 1.2 gigahertz qualcomm snapdragon processor it makes it fast right it's like taking steroids and going to this device and you don't get the hourglassing you're, you're off you, you saw before on blackberries the only time i can get it to happen now is when I install an application and even then I can still use the phone when when that's happening uh, so it's really huge uh, and and makes a big difference and other parts of that chipset are things like the presence of a mag magnetometer magnometer however you pronounce it which gives you compass functionality so I think we can find our compass here know the direction you're in and that gives you you know other things too like this new uh, wicked augmented reality browser app which you know, won't look so good in here, but if you walk outside, you can really see your world through the um, through the browser, which is pretty cool. So I'm not even going to open it and ruin this nice video. So BlackBerry 7, a lot of uh, minor improvements to the user experience. The biggest thing here to me is much better hardware. It's been it, this is just throwing much needed speed at the BlackBerry OS. The web browser has been greatly improved too. Uh, check out our shootout and you can see that basically we're now competitive with you know, other platforms in terms of web browsing. You get the best keyboard ever. It's really the best of the traditional BlackBerry experience. So if you've ever owned a BlackBerry before and liked it but wanted it to be done nicer, you know, this is it. It is really a great BlackBerry. And it's going to be interesting to see where things go from here because obviously the future of BlackBerry phones is moving towards a Cunix based OS and that's what powers the BlackBerry playbook. Um, so you know the next set of phones will probably tie into this more than this, but this is kind of the pinnacle of the BlackBerry OS experience. That's, you know, this OS has 10 years of history behind it and it's gotten better and better. And to me, this is just everything I love about BlackBerry done right. And that keyboard, honest to God, it is amazing. So we'll do some separate videos and, and tests showing off the speed of the keyboard because literally I can type on this thing with my eyes closed fast and accurate. I mean, I can type on glass, right? I get that. I can type pretty quick on this. 
but it's not gratifying. It's not fun. On here, it's like, I don't want to stop typing. I love it. So it's, it's going for a smaller screen for that keyboard, totally worth it on this kind of phone. Because you know what? When it comes to killing time and on time for apps and stuff like that, I'll go pick up a tablet or something where you have a really big screen. Uh, this is my primary communication device, and there's nothing better than this to be your primary handset, in my opinion. I am in love with the BlackBerry Bold 9900. That's it. Go try it out for yourselves in stores. This is a worldwide launch, so you'll be able to find it on your local carrier and grab it as soon as you can because it is a hot BlackBerry. Pick it up even if you don't grab it because you'll just appreciate how good a job Rim's done on this phone. Love it. That's it, guys. Kevin out.